right, everyone, this is Vishal from Equity Guru. And uh, I got to talk about certain stocks here, which, uh, you know, might anger a few people because there's obviously uh, ethical reasons, I guess, when you're investing in uh, defense stocks or military stocks. Uh, but that sector, the military defense sector is just on fire right now. And I think um, not too many people are paying attention to uh, what these stocks are doing, of course. You know, well, on the day of recording, the markets are bouncing uh, due to what Fed Chair Powell has said. But the favorites, you know, like your Amazon, your Tesla, your Apple, your Netflix, uh, I, I guess your Facebook Meta, I don't know if that's a favorite anymore, but, you know, those companies are just getting smashed, right? They're still very far away from their previous all time record highs. But the military defense sector is bucking that trend and they're experiencing a bull market. And many of these stocks are actually either printing or have printed new record all-time highs or are very close to printing new all-time record highs. And, uh, you know, I think the reason why this is happening is quite obvious. You know, if you look around the world, obviously there's Russia, Ukraine, but other hotspots, Turkey, Greece, China, uh, Taiwan. You've been seeing North Korea do some crazy things recently here. And um, the world is now talking about increasing their military spending. And uh, big news, a major shift actually recently came out of Japan, where Japan is now saying that they want to spend more on their military, setting a defense spending budget of about, or, or targeting about 2% of their GDP, which is very, you know, first time that they, they have ever done this. And it puts Japan sort of on par with NATO's defense spending standard. And the Japanese are known for buying a lot of American goods, you know, F-35s and all that kind of stuff. So they're probably going to be looking at American weaponry systems. And then just, you know, little Estonia, the, the country of Estonia has just come out saying, hey, European nations, let's all double our military spending. So uh, there seems to be a, you know, a defense boom, I guess, that's coming. And uh, essentially, a lot of these uh, defense stocks, military stocks are, are big, big companies. So if we take a look at a few of these charts here, you know, Raytheon is uh, one of them. Um, of course, I think this is a name that a lot of people are familiar with. And uh, Raytheon are sending these Stinger missile systems to uh, Ukraine. So, well, technically, they supply the American government with Stinger missiles, and then the Americans send the Stinger defense system over to Ukraine. And then the American military has uh, opened up another contract with Raytheon to supply more Stinger uh, uh, missiles and anti-defense systems. So that's what uh, Raytheon is known for. And you can see here that it uh, looks like they're about to break out. They've had quite a nice bottoming in November. And the stock is uh, less than 10% away from making new all-time record highs. We also then have Northrop Grumman, uh, NOC which uh, recently actually printed record highs in October of this year. So very, very recently. And they're known for their uh, stealth bombers and also space systems and the stock very, very close to uh, previous record highs. And essentially, if uh, it makes the 6% move, uh, they will make new record highs. So, uh, you know, again, some of these stocks doing crazy things. I, I don't think too many people are paying attention to it. We have then Lockheed Martin, which of course is the world's largest defense company. F-35, I'm sure you guys know about uh, that plane. And um, the stock printed recent highs on November 8th. Stock is less than 3% away from making you know, more new record highs if it does continue to break out here. Uh, it is looking a bit toppy, I have to admit, you know, um, you did make uh, new record highs breaking out, and then you would expect that momentum to continue, but instead we have pulled back. So maybe this is one stock that has already made that move and will now maybe continue to range here. You have General Dynamics, uh, you know, your M1 Abrams tanks, and uh, they also do shipbuilding, but a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, they are actually more known, though, I think, for their, their software, like military software and IT side of things. And their biggest customer is, of course, uh, NATO and NATO countries. Uh, this stock just made new record highs as well. It does look like maybe you are seeing a double top pattern uh, with like an M sort of pattern here, but you'd have to close below 242.50-ish to see that trigger. 
you have Heiko, which uh, not a company that too many people know about, but what they do is they um, sell replacement parts for aircraft. And, um, you know, they deal with commercial aircraft. They deal with even NASA vehicles. Uh, however, they also have a portion dealing with um, the military, right? Military aircraft and replacement parts is big business. Uh, and they just recently made new record highs, although they are beginning to range here. So we could be seeing a bit of a topping pattern here, which, uh, again, I think a lot of these are going to just be these retracements because as we just talked about earlier, as more nations look to expand their military budgets, buy more military equipment, um, you know, these companies are obviously going to be making some money, making some bank. They all pay dividends, right? So that's another positive, I guess. You know, if you're looking for these defensive stocks that people are saying, you know, look for these uh, stocks that pay dividends. Um, if these companies are making more money as military budgets around the world expand, uh, they're probably going to be issuing more dividends, which also means higher stock prices as well. Uh, one more bonus that I've added, because this is a stock that is mostly traded in Sweden and also in the um, European markets, but it is Saab, uh, S-A-A-B. Uh, a lot of people don't know, but Sweden actually has a nice little military industrial complex as well. They build uh, Stridswagen tanks. They also build a uh, nice aircraft. And recently there's been talk about their uh, Saab Gripen fighter jets. A Swedish MP has been saying, hey, why don't we sell these to Ukraine? Um, and uh, a lot of European nations are saying, well, not European nations, sorry, but a lot of geopolitical analysts are agreeing with that because they believe that this fighter jet um, is the one that Ukraine can use uh, to their advantage. It's really because uh, Ukraine will be able to operate it regularly outside of air bases, and it also has a relatively low logistical requirement. A lot of people forget that when you send weapons over for another country, uh, it takes some time to actually practice and how, like you know, learn how to use uh, weapon systems, especially you know more of these advanced high tech uh, things with all these computers and buttons uh, and stuff. It's not just point and shoot anymore. Uh, there's other things that you have to do. So this is you know one company which has also been jumping, uh, was popping actually. Uh, it did pop when the war or when the Russian invasion of Ukraine began back in February, look at that major, major pop and the stock's just been shooting higher ever since. Um, and now we've just broken above this uh, trend line or this wedge, potentially a move higher if Sweden does approve uh, that gripping deal to uh, Ukraine. So uh, I understand, you know, there, there's a bit of an ethical uh, uh, boundary for some people here as well. This is not something for everyone, right? Because uh, no one really likes to, uh, well, I guess no one wants to profit from war too much. But, you know, the truth is, uh, the old saying is more money is made in a single day of war than an entire year of peace. Uh, and if you are playing the markets, I think we do have to sort of understand some of these trends here. Uh, if you're looking forward for investments as well, as I said, these stocks pay dividends as countries expand their military budgets. They're likely going to be buying a lot of these American military uh, equipment, which means these companies uh, get more money can pay more dividends, uh, which will translate to higher stock prices. So, um, you know, a lot of the favorites, as I said, Amazon, um, Netflix, Apple getting beat up very far away from their uh, recent or previous record highs. But some of these military stocks, folks, are just knocking on the door of uh, uh, previous all-time highs and could be making new all-time highs uh, in the very near future. But that's it for me, folks. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you guys all in the next technical chart attack.